Hi, it's Jocelyn. So I'm about to do Avent Co. Day 5. Um, yesterday we tried to appease the giant squid by letting it win at bingo. So hopefully it doesn't want to eat us or anything. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, wish me luck. All right, so we have looks like coordinates and then an arrow and then other coordinates. So we come across a field of hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor and they produce large opaque clouds and so we want to try to avoid them. So they form lines um, and so zero to nine goes to five to nine. Um, okay, that's an example of a line. Each line of vents is given as a line segment. Okay. Um, so for now, only consider horizontal and vertical lines. So lines where either x1 equals x2 or y1 equals y2. Okay. Um, the second part, the part sounds like it could be hard then. In this diagram, the top left corner is 0, 0, and the bottom right corner is 9, 9. And each position is shown as the number of lines which cover that point, or dot if there's none. Okay, to avoid the most dangerous areas, you need to determine the number of points where at least two lines overlap. And we need to find how many, okay, we need to find how many points um, at least two lines overlap with. So, first of all, the, the first uh, trick here is just like actually parsing it. So, let line equals line dot split, um, which we'll call this parts. Um, and the first part is the first coordinate. So, um, yeah, so start equal dot parts dot next dot unwrap um, dot split. Um, we're splitting on a comma dot map. These are integers. Um, and dot collect we'll say and um, this is a vec of i32s well actually less than a bit as i64s um, and the end coordinate is going to look exactly the same um, now we have x0 is start 0 um, xy is start 1 um, Y, uh, sorry, that's y, that is y0. Um, y1 is n0, and um, men about at this. y1 is equal to end 1. There we go. And so it says you're supposed to only consider points uh, where either x1, um, actually we're calling it x0 here is equal to and then that's just points um, on the y-axis. So uh, for y in um, y0 to y1. Oh, actually, does it include it? Yeah, so it includes the it includes the start and the end point. So our range has to have an equal. And then this will be a point that we consider. And it's the same thing over here. So if y0 is equal to y1, then we want points where all the, uh, where y is fixed and x moves. Um, so now we need to actually record these points. So we're going to uh, create a hash set. Actually, it's, uh, let's see, do what these two lines overlap. So um, we're going to create a, a hash map of a position to the to the number of, of um, overlapping um, uh, or number of lines rather. So hash map, which is um, a point mapping to a number. Okay, so num lines dot entry. Um, and we'll say um, for default, which is zero plus equals one. And the point here is x zero, which is equal to x one, and y. 
Um, and we want to basically do the same thing over here, except now it's um, x and y0, which is equal to that. Okay, so now for num lines, we go num lines dot, we're going to do values and we're going to um, filter it by um, saying that the filter is at least two or that the number of overlapping lines is at least two. Um, and there's a nice count thing and that gives us u size but the, we're actually looking for i64 and let's see um oh my goodness okay so we actually got an answer already. Let's see if it's right. It's not right. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to record that it's not this and let's see what problem we did. So, um, or what mistake we made. So we have a nice example over here. Let's use, let's use it. So um, and I'm just going to comment out part A for now. And it says that the answer here uh, is five. And it got that wrong. Okay, so first of all, I want to look at which points um, or which things we're actually checking. So um, start zero, start one, and zero, and one. That's x. Okay. Considering x, uh, let's see. And over here, we'll do the same thing. We'll say we're considering an X line. And this will just tell us which lines we're considering. Um, okay, so looking at this, we have um, nines are the same, fours are the same, twos are the same. Um, yeah, that looks right. Oh, um, they can go in either direction, it looks like. They can go up or down, can't they? Um, yeah, because that one, this one goes like down. So we need to, um, we need to do dot min and so you're actually, hmm. Yeah, okay. We'll just do this. Um, y0 dot max, y1, and same thing for the x's over here, because um, I guess the these iterators don't go backwards. Um, oh yeah. Okay, and that got a five. So I think that's probably promising. Um, hopefully, um, hopefully fixing that thing I missed um, will give us a good answer for part two. Um, did it actually, yeah. Okay, 5084 it's saying. And that's right, okay, let's go to part two. Um, okay, unfortunately, we need to also consider diagonal lines because the limits of the hydrothermal vent mapping system, the lines in your list will only ever be horizontal, vertical, or a diagonal line at exactly 45 degrees. Um, okay, so this is basically the same. So I'm just going to be, okay, I'm going to call, instead of part A, I'm going to just call this solve. Um, I think it's easier just to, say, consider diagonals. Um, and we'll say false, um, and 
and pulse. Okay, so if we're considering diagnose, then we'll have to write new logic for that. Okay, so um, it can go in four directions. It can go um, up and to the right, down to the right, up and to the left, down and to the left. Um, trying to think what the best way to what the best way to do that is. So we're starting. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, so we'll say that dx is equal to um, x1 minus x0. I want the sign of that. Is that is there like a dot sign? Um, okay. And same for dy. Um, so if y1 minus y0 is greater than 0, then it's going up, otherwise it's going down. Um, so uh, then we'll say our x is equal to x0 and our y is equal to y0. Um, and while x is not equal to x1, we'll say x plus equals dx, y plus equals dy, um, and then we're going to assert over here that it's actually 45 degrees and that we didn't make any other student mistake, that y is equal to y1. Um, there we have it. I, yeah, okay. And if we considered zeros here as well, we could make this work, I think, for, um, uh, I think we could make that work for um, just like the diagonal lines, uh, sorry, the horizontal and vertical lines. Um, and part B. Um, I'm also going to just, before submitting, I'm just going to run a little test because I'm not feeling super confident about this, but we should make sure, that, so we should make sure that that's returning 12. Um, and if that's good, then I will, oops, and if that's good, then I will submit it. So we'll see how it goes. Ooh, 11, not 12. It's not asserting, which is good. Um, so we're looking for a number of points where at least two lines overlap. Um, oh, um, I am missing that, I realize. Hopefully I don't need to do more debugging than that. Okay, and we have an answer. Um, is, yeah, there's the answer right there. Is it the answer? It is, and we did better than part A, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you tomorrow.